What is better than taking potatoes and garlic, putting them together? You got a great Thanksgiving side. And to help me mix it all up, I've invited Colleen because she teaches me so many good things. And she said to me, roasted garlic mashed potatoes. Yeah, with cheese. <gasps> no, uh Yeah. Oh gosh, I love it. And, and, and she really wanted to come on because she had the squishy peeler that was her son's favorite. And yeah. she, go ahead, peel, peel them. Peel it away. Yeah, peel this it is up. a fabulous peeler. Makes you feel good, doesn't handle, it? Because it's squishy. Me peel. <laughs> and as you're peeling, I'm going to take these potatoes that I yeah, already have got peeled. Got them done. Get them in a pot of water. Let's get them boiling. Let's get them boiling. And one thing I particularly like about this recipe is the holidays are really all about timing. Mm. You know, you don't want to take something out too early, and then your turkey's cold. Or and there's nothing worse than uh, cold or even room temperature yeah. mashed potatoes. Yeah. But that so doesn't gonna, happen. No, that we're going to put these in a casserole so we can keep them warm until the turkey's really ready or perfect. You yep. have some that you've already put in the mixer yeah, that's ready to mixer. go. Yep. And what and are we going to add in? roasted some garlic. This mm. garlic, it really smells amazing. And she took it out of this little, like, care package yep. of Toss aluminum foil. Toss it in foil. a little olive oil, yeah. Put so, it in a little foil package. Right. And I'll put it in a pan just in case it should leak. Right. So put it in the oven. It's so you clean oil. it. So yeah. it's just that kind of, just okay. The garlic put pulse. it in the aluminum foil mm -hmm. packet, a little bit of olive oil, and yep. look at the yeah, about 25 minutes. About 25 yeah. minutes, and pretty hot. Yeah, 425. 425. Yeah. Oh, that smells yeah. fantastic. So now it'll be soft. And okay. We'll go in a mixer with our potatoes. And what else are we gonna put in that? We're gonna put in cream cheese and butter, oh, yes. salt and pepper, oh, yes. more Parmesan cheese, mm -hmm. and a little milk at the mm -hmm. end. Just here, I'll give you this, and you can yeah, fold that let's right get in. Some stuff going in here. We're gonna put in maybe a dozen cloves of that garlic. Okay. And a little of that yummy olive oil, which is also really flavored up with the garlic now. And we're going to do a, about a stick of butter, or eight tablespoons of butter. And the same with the cream cheese, which I cube up just to make it easy to measure and get it in. Absolutely. There. So you're and you're just doing it in batches, right? Yeah. You're going to do a little bit to begin yeah. with. It'll fill up one pie. We can do another right. one after that, another one. So you want to go for it? Yeah, we're going to get it mixing up. And it's gonna, I just wanna start it on a little bit slow, and then once we start incorporating, we'll get it really going. Once it gets a little bit mixed, then I wanna get a little salt and pepper in there okay, too. Okay. So we're just gonna add a little milk here at the end, and it's gonna make it nice and creamy. Get it going. Hey, can we? Yeah, should we? Should I think be. we should. It should be. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And hold on, let me help you out a little bit, because we don't want to we don't want to miss any of that good stuff. And then we're just gonna load up our pie plate, real yummy, creamy. Real yummy. Oh. Yeah. So at the end, we're gonna get it all in there. When you would bring it back out, if you want to do it ahead. Well, here's Sprinkle the thing. I think it's kind of fun. You can either put the Parmesan cheese in at the very end, or you can mix it in kind of as yes. you're going. Yes. So I like to do a little bit of both. Mix it in and then put it on the very top. Right, right. Now, if we had made this the day before, right. we'd have to put it in the oven. Yeah, then we'd put it in the oven. Kind of heat it up. Yeah, heat it up. Maybe you could even microwave it real microwave quick. Microwave it. I like yeah, that. Yeah, real quick. But if you've just Warm cooked it and you want to pop it in, you just put yep. it under the broiler, yep. right? Brown the cheese on top. Brown the cheese on top. And Colleen has one here that has been all broiled up. Look, are you proud? Yeah. I'm proud. Good. I can smell that roasted bit of goodness mm. mixed with the potatoes. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.